Hi, this is Silver Fox A, and uh, this is a project that I have initiated to help or probably say a certain set of content to the open source community where they can get uh, the infrastructure and server related de details on their own, which I learned over these past few years. If you are in sync with my idea of helping the open source community, please do subscribe my channel. It will motivate me to add more content. In this video, I am going to show you how you can upload your project file to a VPS or probably to your own DigitalOcean droplet. First, uh, be before that, I'm assuming you have your uh, domain set up and everything. But in case if it's not, uh, say we are creating a subdomain. For that, we're using a record and we're linking it to a domain. So in case if you have, you can probably skip one or two domains. Now we're creating a CNAME. Okay, all this we have already covered in detail in another videos. What I'll do is I'll just link it, uh, link the, uh, like put the link in the description. Okay, I have also covered how you can link it to Cloud Cloudflare. So if you're using that, you can get uh, 15 years uh, free SSL, a great SSL. Okay, so let's see our website that is demo.wdeppro.com. So now you'll see the default Apache config file because we haven't added any content so far on this. So I'll just connect uh, to my droplet using terminal using the SSH command. For that also I have a detailed video. I'll just put the link in the description after this video. And once you're connected to, to this droplet, what, you, what we'll do is we'll just create a, a directory and within that we'll create a file that is index.php that will highlight a hello world script so that uh, it, it gets reflected on our demo uh, subdomain. In case if you have a project directory set up and the virtual host too, you need not uh, do this for the time being. Okay, say I'm creating a demo folder or directory and then I'm going into that directory and creating an index.php file using the touch command. Okay, so the file has been created. We'll just add our hello world script you can do it in HTML, that's not an issue. Just write normal uh, hello world or something, some random uh, text just to display that you're uh, seeing the new item. Okay. If you go down to the website and to the refresh, you'll see the hello world script there. Okay, after this, uh, what we'll do is um, we'll go to FileZilla. So that's a FTP client. You need one of these. In case if you don't, you want to download FileZilla. And here you will get multiple sections. Okay. Uh, this one is to see your local local directory or local file path. Once you select one of these directories, you'll get all the listed file in the second part. Okay. Let's say I click this, or this is something else. You'll see all the all the files being listed here, right? And the right side is for the remote file structure okay so let's say you are connected to a remote file uh, remote server all the files or directory structure will be displayed on the other side now click on site manager and that will show you this pop-up click on new site once you do that it will highlight you can put in a name on the right hand side you have to hit the host okay that's the ip address probably if you have a host you can add that go for sftp so that's a secure connection and you can go off with whatsoever you prefer I'll go for it ask for a password so I'll just give a username and when it connects or wants to connect it will ask me for the password click on connect enter the password it's not a good practice to use root so you probably want to create a pseudo uh, user for yourself so once you're connected you'll um, go to your home directory and then from there navigate to the project directory wherever you have so for me uh, this is a demo directory which we created and had the index file right uh, i don't have a project so what i'll do is i'll just download a, a html template free from the net okay if you have one you're good so far just wait for one minute Okay, I'll just get a random template from this uh, open source directory. Let's say this one. I'll just download the HTML part. Okay, once this is downloaded, uh, it has a zip file. Okay, now what I'll do is um, there's two ways to 
two way to upload okay one is you upload one file at a time let's say uh, this is a gif file and we have the normal extracted file here go back to filezilla and navigate to the uh, project folder on your local system wherever you have for me i have it under downloads and uh, here is the gif file so i'll upload that i'll show you how you can uh, easily upload files instead of doing it one at a time and uh, you can upload in and in like one one by one manner all you have to do is right click on the file that you want to upload and click on upload so that will get uploaded to your remote server and let's say the directory it, it stands true so you just click the directory and and just select and upload that's done but uh, sometimes what happens is you have so many files that it will take a lot of time to upload one at a time instead of doing that what you can do is just upload the zip okay let's hit back the server and see if it works okay so the new file got uh, displayed right so i'll show you the other way around uh, instead of uh, uploading one at a time or how you can get the zip file running for that you need unzip okay that's an next uh, that's a, that's a uh, extension you can see or a package you can see so for me i have it installed so let's assume in case if you don't have it just do apt get install unzip okay if you do that the package will uh, will get installed and once once it's done navigate to the folder wherever you have your zip file click on and uh, like type in unzip and the package name or the file name that will unzip if you liked what you just saw or it is helpful for you in a manner, please do subscribe and keep following for more of this content that will help me um, or probably that will encourage me to create more of videos.